everybody. How's it going? It's me, Crendor. What's up? It's been a while since I've made one of these where I just, uh... I just build and paint stuff. You know what I mean? Like, wow. I've mainly just been talking about stuff behind my shitty green screen, but today, look at this. The actual, uh, work hobby desk area. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably show you... Okay, let me show you what I've been doing. So... I've been working on these guys. Oh, I'll show you this in a minute. I gotta show you something over here. Uh, where is he? Here we go. So, I have been uh, attempting to do base stuff, and I did my first, like, real base. So, here we go. This is my Bastilladon base, and I got, like, some, like, static grass, and, uh,. Some like gravel and some rocks. And I they're white, and then I painted them like a brown, and then I dry brushed them, and then uh, I did some water over here. Look at my water, dude. Look at my water. You know, it's not like the greatest water, but you know, it's my it's my first one. All right, <laughs> and uh, oh, no, I'm pretty happy with it. You can see, you know, here's a top-down view. And, uh, it was pretty fun to do, too. I really enjoyed doing it. And, uh, I'm, I'm hoping my other bases turn out just as good, if not better. Because, <laughs> you know, I think it looks cool. Look at that. Look at that. I did a nice little blend of a bunch of grasses and did some little, like, grass tufts and all this stuff. So, I don't know. I really like doing water, so I'm going to do a lot more water. <laughs> It's just fun to do. So with this one, I like put down a layer of... Well, I painted it, and then I put down the water stuff. And then I didn't like how it looked. I was like, it needs to be more blue. So I painted over the water stuff, which I don't even know if you're supposed to do, but I did it. And then I put another layer of it down. And I think it looked all right. I think it turned out all right. So that's, uh, that's one of the things I've been doing. Let me put that back. I think I've showed off my mock Russia since I glued the boss on. So here's my full-blown uh, mock Russia dude. So you've probably seen him before. Maybe. You might be new here. Uh, and there he is. And then the boss guy on top. I don't think I've really showed off. And I'm pretty happy with him. You know, there's still like some stuff I could do, but... You know, for the most part, uh, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> uh, I, I painted his, like, what's this thing? Uh, the, like, this is supposed to be, this is, like, supposed to be wood and bone. But for this, I used contrast, which is why it looks very contrasty. And then for this, I used, like, uh, wild wood. What was it? Uh, where's my paint that I... <laughs> What did I use? It was like dry wood, wild wood, some wood, <laughs> but it's too dark. So I don't know if like I should take a lighter brown and just highlight the edges. Maybe that would help it out. I don't know. Let me know in the, the comments section. Uh, and there's still like some little details like a paint and everything, but hey, you know what? If, uh, if I put them on a table or something, people would be like, whoa, he looks pretty cool, right? So I mean, <laughs> that's all I want. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to finish up orcs, and I'm trying to finish up lizards. That's my, like, main goal I've been doing. Uh, put it back. Uh, and then I did a whole bunch of skinks. I based them all. Uh, here's, like, a couple. Whoop! I dropped them. Here's one I was, like, trying to experiment with, but, you know. Just your basic skink. <laughs> like, oh, he doesn't have to be crazy or anything. Um, so that's uh, that's my main goal. Is just, especially with Age of Sigmar 3.0 coming out, I want to have like at least two armies that are like done. You know, you know what I mean. Um, and then there's gonna be like new Lord Croak, so I have to do that, right? Uh, so I mean, I want to get stuff done at least before all that happens. Uh, and I've been painting my Stegodons. Here's one I've been working on. Uh, he's green, <laughs> and, you know, he's coming along, I still, I've been painting these, like, little banner things, and then I gotta paint these, and then I gotta glue the skinks on top, uh, 
And then here's my engine, which I'm still, I gotta base this, but, you know, it's, uh, it's coming along. Still got some other stuff I've been doing. Uh, like a lot of little details on the engine that need to get done, but, you know, <laughs> slowly but surely. Oh, and then I learned, um, so I had these guys, right? The, uh, I forget what they're called. The, I think they're big stabbers. You know, that's, that's what they are. <laughs> oh, this one literally just has the uh, silver part painted. Uh, and I watched a video by, what was his name? I think it's like Paint Teacher Paint, something like that. And he was like, how to paint orcs with, it was like Plague Bearer Contrast, Plague Bearer Flesh, and Bile Tan, Bile, bile Tan Green, Bile Tan Green, I don't know. Um, so you put this down first, then you put this down, it looks pretty cool. So I was like, alright, I'll give it a shot, right? It seems pretty easy. Uh, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. I might do it for a lot of orcs that I got, especially, you know, if I gotta paint like a bunch of arrow boys or something. So you can see I half painted him. To kind of give a, an example here. And then this guy in the back is uh, not painted. Hold on, it's gonna focus. There we go, you can see. You can see pretty well there. And then these two are ones that I've already done. And you can see, they still got some stuff to do, but I think it looks pretty cool. And then you probably just go over them and just kind of edge highlight and build up some layers on like the muscles and stuff, but, uh, and then do like all this and everything. But, you know, for, for painting like orc skin, it can get a little tricky. Cause like some of these other guys, like these boar dudes, I was like, oh, I'll just use a uh, orc flesh contrast. It, he just looks super green. <laughs> Granted, I haven't painted, uh, you know, anything else on them, so that's probably going to help a lot. But I want to have, like, varying tones of orcs. You know what I mean? I don't want them to all be the same color. I want, like, some to be kind of yellow-green, some yellow, some, like, super dark green. Some are, like, I don't know. Uh, like, these dudes, I really like the pale green. I really like that. I haven't painted their details yet, but, you know, they're coming along. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to paint for a bit today, actually. And, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with that. So, I've been doing a lot. Uh, I also painted the rest of my Saurus Guards thing. Oh my god, going through every... I have like 15 Temple Guard. And I spent the most time just... <laughs> painting all this gold. And then going to the next one. And being like, alright. Paint all this gold. <laughs> alright, move to the next one. Paint all this, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's been another thing. Oh, here's another uh, Stegadon I got. Still gotta put some base stuff down, but I painted all the skinks on top, so they're, you know... They're like the Skittle skinks, essentially. You got all the color, the colors of the Skittles. Hold on. I swear to God, this is the worst... Fo sometimes it focuses, sometimes it doesn't. And then I have to figure out what's not focusing. And, like, block it out. Like, is it here? Is it here? If I just... Oh, there we go. Very nice. Okay, now we got now we got it. Okay. <laughs> so that's coming along. So, uh, really fun. I've been having a lot of fun just painting. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on these guys, because I've been having a lot of fun painting the, the, uh, the orcs. So let's do that. Also, the music playing is EVE Online, if it sounds any... You know, if it sounds familiar to you. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? My problem with these orcs, all right. Uh, so with the, so I'm doing different themes with the lizard men. I'm mainly doing like a, you know, more like swamps or grass. There's really no theme with the lizard men. I don't even know why I said it. They're just mainly like some are in the swamp, some are in the mud, some are in the grass, some are in the jungle. I just, I don't really care. I just like experimenting with them, and you know, that's that. Uh, with the orcs, I want to have a very kind of desert theme. Not like, you know, desert, 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 desert? <laughs> but more like, a like New Mexico desert, like the adobe desert 
Is that even a thing? Like, the, the American Southwest, I guess. So, I really like the idea of... Uh, like, the, like, I don't know. My, okay, here's my, here's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm like, in my brain, I'm like... Uh, so these guys are very brown right now, right? Like, the boar's brown, the armor's bronze brown, and there's, like, other brown, like, some gold and stuff. And I don't want them to, like, super blend in with the environment when I, like, base it, and then it's gonna be very brown, because it's, like, you know, adobe and red, and they... But I guess, you know, there's still, like, desert desert down there, so I could just make this more of a, like, sand and put some rock... I don't know. I need to look up pictures of things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then uh, maybe some of the other orcs, then I can go more with this color scheme like with these guys maybe I can do more of like the adobe red under them because it's going to contrast a little better with the green and the brown compared to these so I don't know I don't know okay <laughs> uh, I'm going to mix these this is what I've been doing for their armor I've been using a uh, just a variety of different golds and brass and bronze like brass scorpion Gehenna gold and just kind of mixing them and then putting them on different things so it's like they have various pieces of armor of uh, different colors maybe I'll mix in some Kanoptek alloy this time and this thing needs to get a good shaking <laughs> here we go but I've been I've just been having fun especially with my life's just been a lot of stress lately, so it's one thing to have, like, a... something you can just meditate with, essentially. And when you're painting, it's a very meditative thing, right? Because you're, you're sitting here, and you're just, you know... Maybe you got something on, or you're watching something, and you're just like, yeah. Yeah. So, I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... It definitely helps with that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do the wristbands. So let's... And then I also want their armor to contrast a bit from the boar's armor, which I painted... Uh, not Canoptech Alloy, the other one that came out with the 40k stuff. Uh, is it this? Rune Lord Brass, that's the one. Rune Lord Brass, that's what I did. Okay. So, let's, uh, do, 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 do. use, what brush do I want? I use this one. Okay. So let's, uh, I'm just going to shake all three. You can also see I've been building some squigs. <laughs> so that's been fun too. There. Should be good. Do a little mix and match. With a tiny bit of brass scorpion. I really need to get my uh, wet palette going again too. Now that I'm like better at painting than I used to be. So I can probably take advantage of a wet palette. Cause my thing back in the day was I didn't use a wet palette because I didn't really understand how much the paint needed to be wet, you know what I mean? Because, like, certain paints don't need to be thinned as much as other paints. And I think that plus a wet palette when you're first starting to paint is just a lot to take in. <laughs> a little more. But, uh, yeah, I don't, like, I'm not doing, like, a ton of painting. Where it's like I constantly need the wet palette. It's not like I'm running out of paint or something, I don't know. Maybe if I was painting like 50 guys all at once, I'd be like, ah, I need it, but... Normally I just paint for like... 20, 30 minutes at a time, so it's not too bad. Yep, alright, and then... Woo! This actually looks really cool when it pours in. It kind of looks like, uh... Smog's... You know, when, like, the gold falls on smog in The Hobbit or something? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Alright, there we go. I can do that. And then I'm just gonna... 
Let's see. If I blend these and I take some of that. That could be cool. I like blending paints together too, it's just fun. A little more of that. That'll be neat. It's a bit brighter. A little water. There we go. Like these you don't really have to thin that much because they're already pretty liquidy. All right. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. I like this. All right, all right. Slowly. I'm the worst at just being like slowly and then completely messing it up. <laughs> Very like very light gold or brass. Okay, okay. A little bit back there and Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a nice in between of like the both of them, so I like that. So I go back over here, a little more. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit on them. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You're, gonna, you're bound to get, you know, some paint on the skin. You just touch it up later. Uh. Okay, okay. There we go. Nice. And cool. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, and I gotta go underneath a bit. Uh oh. There it is. bit. Can't really see this one, but trust me, I'm doing it. <laughs> there we go. Eh, I got some of this staff thing, but it'll, I gotta paint it later anyway. Alright, that's not bad. To the other ones. So, yeah, I don't think I mentioned it here, but two weeks ago I had an endoscopy, so that was fun. <laughs> if you don't know, that's where they uh, stick a tube down your throat and look around to see if you got ulcers or gastritis or any other problems. <laughs> Uh, it's like a colonoscopy, but instead of going up there, they go into the stomach and the small intestine. And luckily, 
I don't have anything bad, so that's good. <laughs> Always good. Uh, I do have a small hiatal hernia, apparently, but I guess most people have hiatal hernias. Like, over 50% of people have hiatal hernias by the time they're 50, I believe. So it just kind of happens. God, there we go. Uh, probably just from a combination of things. <laughs> uh, I know breathing with your diaphragm can actually help just strengthen your diaphragm so your stomach doesn't go up into your diaphragm <laughs> or past it. And then uh, some other stuff like... There's like some stretches and things you can do. And aside from that, it's just kind of managing heartburn. Not eating bad things. <laughs> That's really about it. So, very fun. Love getting old. I know some people are like, oh, you're not old, you're not old. But like, it's, uh, I know I'm not old old, but it's one of those things of like, you're getting a taste. <laughs> you're getting a taste of what it's like, and you're just like, man. Remember like, Seven years ago, when I could eat whatever. That was fun. No, I can't. <laughs> uh. Okay. But, you know, those people got a lot worse, so... I take what I can get. <laughs> Alright, looking good, looking good. is. Please autofocus. Please clap. There we go. And the final one. Get a little more water. They also te uh, test for, like, celiac and stuff like that. Luckily, I don't have that. I can eat my bread. <laughs> I can eat my gluten. Thank God. Yeah, although it's still not great for you. I don't eat a lot. But... And they also test for, uh, what's that thing? The H. pylori. It's what causes some ulcers and other things like that. I didn't have any of that, so that's good. Yeehaw. <laughs> uh, the actual process of getting an endoscopy is really easy. Like with a colonoscopy, you have to uh, drink that stuff and then you shit yourself. So it's not the most fun. <laughs> But with an endoscopy, you just don't eat after midnight, and then you show up, and then they're like, did you eat? And you're like, no, and then they're like, okay. And then you wake up after being knocked out, and they're like, here's some juice and crackers, and you're like, woo! <laughs> it's like kindergarten all over again. Yeehaw. Except without the anesthesia part. <laughs> uh, there we go. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> This year in general, man, has just been crazy. Like, last year we had COVID. And we still got COVID. But, you know, vaccines and stuff, people getting better. I got my vaccine, which was another thing that I was, you know, stressing over. But now I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay. Like in the last, I want to say what? Since probably December. It's just been so many things. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's it's gonna calm down. It's gonna calm down. And then. 
just have some nice, relaxing nothing. It's one of my favorite things is when nothing's happening, you know what I mean? You're like, man, my life's boring right now. This is great. I want some more of that. Man, I hate this camera's autofocus. I might just end up buying a, uh... Or I might end up using my actual, like, Canon G7X. The lighting's a bit darker, but I mean... It'll probably autofocus a lot better. <laughs> uh... But then the times this cam- this, like, webcam thing's actually really great. Like, down here it looks good, but then if I'm like, yo, autofocus up here, it's like, you want to focus- Wait, what? Now it works! <laughs> oh! Now it's like, wait, you wanted the, the water cup, right? And I'm like, no! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> um, it's a fun time. Let's see, is there anything- mm. Maybe I should paint their, like, things. I already painted- okay. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna paint his, like, side- Things. I need to look at like other Warhammer people's setups and what camera and things they use. So I really just want a camera that focuses how I want it to focus. <laughs> it's my money and I need it now. Okay. Okay, a little bit under here. Then let's get this side. Now comes the part where we're running out of paint. <laughs> now I'm like, man, wet palette probably got some more out of this, eh? Uh, that's alright. And I gotta remix. I think mixing paints is probably the best thing with a wet palette, because that's what, you know, your mixed paints stay wet, and now I gotta, like, do a whole remixing session if I want to paint more with it. Maybe I can just do a little water. And then... Kinda... See if I can scrub together enough. I'm gonna have to do a second coat anyway, so I mean... <laughs> I like to wait a while before I do second coats, you know. Because uh, some people, like... You wait a little bit, like... You know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. But I usually just do one coat, and I just let it set for, like... A day. <laughs> and then I come back the next day, and I'm like, Alright, let's do the next coat. I just... I like it to be fully dry. Because there's been a few times where I'm like, Nah, let's do it now, and it just doesn't look good. So how long do you normally let your things sit before you do another coat? I'm just curious. Uh, Alright, it looks okay. Yeah. Come on, no cup. <laughs> hey, alright. I'll take that. Uh, and then uh, we'll give this guy... A little bit of a different armor. Uh, I noticed so many people, like I mentioned earlier, do like a very... ...same army, where it's like... ...all these people must look the same, all those guys must look the same, but it's like... ...to me it's very unrealistic that way, cause like so many... ...you know... ...people in general... <laughs> ...uh... ...are just you know, different, and their armor's different, and things are different. They might have similar armor, but, like, maybe it's got more dirt on it, or it's more weathered, or something's new. Like, I don't know. I think it's cool when you have so many different varieties of stuff, which is why I had, like, so many different colors of skinks, and so many, you know, like with my temple guard right here, I got, like... Oh, I dropped it. 
I got this guy with like blue and green, and then this guy's got like a darker green, and then this guy's like a blue and blue. I don't know, I just uh, I think it's fun. <laughs> and I like it. Okay. Okay. Let's do, uh... Maybe I'll take a little bit of Rune Lord Brass. A little bit of Rune Lord Brass. Alright. I'm gonna... A little bit, put it right here. And close it. Okay. Then, I think I'm going to mix it with a bit of a... Yeah, I'm make a little bit of Brass Scorpion. Okay. Uh-oh. What's that? What the hell? I hope it's not important, because I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna end up stepping on it. Okay, whatever. Uh, and then a little guy has gold. Not a lot. Just enough. And... Just mix them. water. It's already pretty thin. Alright. Excellente. Good. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty similar. Got even a little more gold to it. like barely edged highlighted anything I've ever painted so I've started going back and just edge highlighting a lot of things and I'm like whoa <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> uh, who would have thought that's insane oh wait is this some of that off his hand I still gotta wash this dude Definitely needs a good wash. Okay. Okay. All right. Neat. That's pretty good. back there. Okay. Nice. And then, I just gotta do like his paints and his shin guard things. And... I guess there's like some more armor. These guys got so much armor. Uh, I guess that could be part of it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... Just gonna end up painting his whatever this is breastplate thing. I 
think that's what it is. I'm just gonna make it the same color because it's attached to it. Okay. Why not? And this part. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I gotta just get back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enough so you don't see any, like, You know, white spots or something. A little more here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking like good. Okay. Alright. And that's not too bad. Oh, wait, is this part of his. I think so. Okay. A little bit under there, because it's... Eh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I mean... Hold on. Autofocus, please. Okay. There you go. Uh, yeah. And then I just gotta paint his actual jaw, like, the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> And I gotta paint his tongue red, and his eyes, and, uh, shade him. There's still a lot of things you gotta, that gotta be done, but we're getting somewhere, so that's, uh, that's the important part. Whew. And, uh, that's the main thing. As long as you are painting a little bit, a little bit every day, that's, like, the best you can do. I remember with my Maw Crusher, I was like, dude, this guy's gonna take so long to paint. And I was like, alright, you know what? Today I'm just gonna do this. And I'd paint for like 30, 40 minutes, and I'm like, today I'm just gonna do this. And then I'd paint for like 10, 20 minutes, and I'm like, alright, today I'm just gonna do this. And then, you know, a week goes by, and you're like, I've, I've put in like multiple hours to painting this guy this week. And then you do it another week, and then you do it another week, and then you're like, dude, this guy's looking pretty good. <laughs> and before you know it, you've got a, you got a full on, painted guy and then you're just able to do a little details and stuff and I think that's the best way to go about things unless you're in like you know factory mode and you're just like but I think with like big models like that you know so uh hey thanks for watching this painting chill out session uh you're probably not gonna learn anything because my camera doesn't focus well and I'm very mediocre at painting <laughs> But you know what? It's about just the, uh, you know, having, you know, I feel like this is more like a having someone to paint with type thing, right? And just hang out and listen to me ramble or whatever while you paint. So, uh, that's what I like to do. I like to help people get going with their painting and get motivated to paint whatever you're doing. So comment below on what you're working on. Are you building stuff? Are you gluing? Are you build or <laughs> building? Are you painting? <laughs> Uh, are you basing? Like, let me know. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for listening and watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya. I'm gonna shut this off over here now. Alright, pretend uh, you're not here. Just... <laughs>